AirPods 4 A and C, AirPods Pro 2. No mucking around, there's six major differences we're covering today. Sound, controls, battery, call quality, noise canceling, and transparency. So let's start with sound quality. And going into my testing, I honestly didn't think the AirPods 4 would sound so good. They actually sound better than the AirPods Pro 2 when it comes to treble sparkle and detail. With more boosting in the mid bass, which I noticed just gives a bit of a richer sound to the bass. Although I will give it to the Pro 2 when it comes to sub bass, especially when you start venturing above 60% volume, which is fair enough. Like the AirPods 4 don't have an ear tip. The fact you're getting sound quality this good without an ear tip is crazy. And compared to the AirPods 3, it's a night and day difference. If you wanna check out my full detailed video, I'll link it up here and down below. Now let's talk about controls. I think this is where Apple realized they made the 4 A and C sound too good. They needed to bring some features away. So that's my theory of why you're not getting swipe control for volume up and down, which is all I wanted to see upgraded from the AirPods 3 because I just got used to the Pro 2 swipe control. So when I would use the AirPods 3, I'd go in for a swipe and I couldn't control my volume. So the fact it's not here, I'm pretty disappointed. But they added in head gesture now, so you can nod up and down to accept the call, shake your head to the side to reject the call. And this is also on the Pro 2. But they actually took away the skin detection that the AirPods 3 and Pro 2 have. So now you get an optical sensor. So if you chuck one earbud in your pocket, for example, the wearing detection will activate. And if you follow my channel, you know I'm pretty picky about controls. So what they've done here, it, it bothers me more than it should. But let's move on. We'll talk about battery now. The battery is kind of trash on the 4 A and C with only four hours with the earbuds and 20 hours in total with the case. Where on the AirPods Pro 2, you get six hours on the buds, 30 hours in total. The AirPods 4 case is incredibly compact though, much smaller here compared to the Pro 2. No lanyard loop sadly, but you get the same speakers, the same Find My Case feature. But due to the small size, it actually won't fit on a MagSafe charger properly, but it will work with any wireless charger. Now let's check out the differences in call quality. I always run through three tests, a quiet room, simulation crowd noise, and a simulation windy city with construction. They both sound pretty similar to me. There are some small differences, but here are some samples so you can hear it for yourself. All right, here's the call quality of the AirPods Pro 2 in a quiet room. All right, here's the call quality of the AirPods 4 A and C in a quiet room. All right, now we're gonna see how the microphones block out some simulation crowd noise. All right, here is the full quality of the AirPods Pro 2 with some simulation crowd noise. All right, here's the AirPods 4 A and C with some simulation crowd noise. All right, now I've got some city noise, some construction noise, and some simulation wind. All right, here is the AirPods Pro 2 with some city noise, construction noise, and simulation wind. All right, here's the AirPods 4 A and C with some city noise, construction noise, and simulation wind. All right, let's talk about the noise canceling on the 4 A and C now. So for half any -E standards, it's pretty amazing. Compared to the Pro 2, it's just no contest. The Pro 2 has miles stronger noise canceling. I compared the 4 A and C to one of the cheapest earbuds with noise canceling that I own, the Moondrop Space Trouble. You can get them for under 30 US dollars and the noise canceling on them is still stronger than the 4 A and C. But the 4 A and C do get pretty close. The main area where they struggle is with low frequency engine sound it really struggles at blocking that out. But day to day, fan noise, a kettle boiling, some annoying gym music that isn't too loud, that does get blocked out quite well. And for a half in ear earbud, normally you're hearing all your surroundings. So the fact that you can block that out a little bit is gonna allow you to listen at lower volumes than you normally would. Good for your hearing. Protect your hearing, people. Now, some issues when it comes to noise canceling with these half in ear earbuds is that it's easier for the buds to move slightly out of place affecting the seal, which can reduce your noise canceling strength. If you have an ear tip, this is gonna be a lot easier to get a proper seal. The second thing I'm noticing is a lot more cabin pressure. This is kind of the feeling like your brain is getting sucked out into another dimension. I think because the noise canceling has to work over time with a lack of a proper seal, that this is the reason that it happens. So basically you get much stronger noise canceling on the Pro 2 with less cabin pressure. And also notice the 4A and C would pick up wind easier with noise canceling on compared to the Pro 2. So if you're outside on a windy day, you're just gonna hear that come through the microphones a little bit easier. And finally, the AirPods 4 A and C now have a transparency mode, which isn't really needed because you naturally get a transparency mode with this half any fit. So it really only slightly boosts the transparency, making it the, technically the best transparency mode you can get because there's no ear tip creating any passive noise isolation. So Apple didn't really need to do much to get this sounding good, but it's a smart move, they added it in. So apart from those main differences, you get the same adaptive sound control, conversation awareness, personal volume, spatial audio, just no swipe control for volume. And I guess another big difference is if you like ear tips or you might hate ear tips. For me personally, I always use my AirPods 3 because they would stay in my ears better if I'm talking for a long time on the phone, where the AirPods Pro 2 over time would kind of budge out of place slightly. 
So overall, if you don't like ear tips, these are 100% worth grabbing over the AirPods 3, just for the sound quality alone. Noise cancelling is a little bonus. Now, if you don't need the strongest noise cancelling or swipe control for volume, then you might prefer the 4 ANC over the AirPods Pro 2. But to see my detailed comparison of the AirPods 4 against the AirPods 3 and other semi-ear and earbuds, check out my video right here. Thanks for tuning in. Stay picky, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.